Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove your factory rear bumper off this 2017 Ram 1500. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we need to do is remove all of our wiring harnesses from our bumper. Now we're on the driver's side and right above our hitch there is going to be a plug. That's going to be for your sensors if you have backup sensors. So you're just going to push the black tab in and then you can pull that out. Also, you can see right here, there is a license plate light. We're going to turn that and pull that out as well. Now you want to do that one on both sides. Now our trailer plug is going to be right to the driver's side of our spare tire. At the top, there's also going to be a tab that you can push, and then you can just pull that off and set that to the side. So now we're on our driver's side, and right above our tailpipe, there's going to be two 15 millimeter bolts, and we need to remove both of those. We're going to do that on both sides. Now at the front of our bumper, we also have two push pins and two 15 millimeter bolts. We need to remove all four of those and then our bumper can come off. Now that we have our bumper off, we're going to go ahead and remove some of our factory components. First, we're going to start with our trailer plug. There's going to be two metal clips on either side. We're just going to use a flathead screwdriver, push that in on both sides, and then it should pop out the other side. Next, we're going to remove our sensors from our sensor housings. To do that, we're going to have a small flathead screwdriver. We're going to pry up on one of the side to slide it out. And then once that side's out, we do the same thing on the opposite side. And we should be able to pull our sensors out. We're going to do that on all four sensors. Now we're also going to need our housings out of our bumper. Now to do that, it's going to have a clip on four sides. You're going to push those in. And then it should pop out the other side. We're going to do that on all four housings as well. Alright guys, now you're ready for your aftermarket bumper. If you have any other questions, give us a call or visit us online. Thanks.